Hey YouTube, welcome back. I just want to do a quick recap and have a conversation about the latest episode of Wonder Egg Priority. It's been no secret that it's my favorite show of the season. Uh, it stands out with this fluid character progression and beautiful artwork and music, and it caught my eye the second I saw the show. It's honestly my favorite of the series, and if I had to pick between watching Attack on Titan or this, it'd be a tough choice for me. Uh, that said, spoilers are inbound, so if you haven't watched the latest episode, then you should click off the video right now if you don't want to be spoiled. Alright, now that only the cool kids are here. Episode 5 starts off with Nairu, Nairu, look, I don't know how to say her name, please. Alright, Nairu, let's just say Nairu. Uh, Nairu? Nairu, fighting... <laughs> Episode 5 starts off with Nairu fighting what I assume to be a priest, only assuming that because of his god complex. This right here shows that this is Nairu getting her character arc started in my opinion. Even though she was the second character to show up, she is the last to have her arc started. Rika and Roy from Fire Emblem have already had their start in the last two episodes and while both of their themes were a bit more obvious, Nairu seems to be a little more complex with the theme surrounding the topic of death and the point of living. Fast forward in the episode and we learn that the person that she is trying to bring back, her sister, stabbed her. Now, really, really quickly, uh, my girl, you were not stabbed. That is not stabbings. Those are being sliced. Uh, you were ravaged by the Wolverine. What kind of knife or blade did your sister use on you? Like, a uh, Ben's knife? Like, my girl, <laughs> your sister is insane. Uh, she was not playing with you. Those are not stab marks. Well, she was stabbed by a freaking keyblade or so. I don't know. All right. Um, but anyways, how they will execute all of their character arcs is something to look out for. We are almost at the halfway point of the series, and they accomplished a lot so far. Tidbits in the episode I liked was pretty much everything. Uh, Rika is supposed to be the least liked character. You could kind of tell by how they write her. Uh, but she's a really freaking good character. She's such a great foil to the rest of the cast, and they are very good with her, you know, as well. Like, it's a good... It's a good matchup, honestly. Very good matchup between how the characters interact with one, uh, one another. She can be very, very annoying because um, she just speaks her mind. And, and like, it's, it's rude. It's very rude. But, like, this type of show definitely needed this. The realism that these characters have are out of this world. And I talked about this in the one episode review of my Wonder Egg Picnic video. Uh, they all tackle real life problems and they all represent different types of mental issues or circumstances that everyday people go through. The cool thing about Rika is that she's very real and outspoken about it. And she doesn't let the rest of the group forget because she's constantly reminding them of what they are doing in one way or another. It doesn't mean that she thinks it should be done because towards the end of the episode, she says some of the realest I've seen in the show. もうやめね。エッグ買うの。え、考えてみれば知恵みのやつを勝手に死んだんだ。そりゃあ、近間知れない。でも死ぬのなんて反則だし、そこまで責任感じる必要ある本気。だってそうじゃない見たのは小芝
And this is what makes this show so good. That's such a valid stance, but every reason that the other characters gave is also a very valid stance. So you, as a viewer, you as a viewer, you're forced to choose between the two because the show gives no right or wrong answer. In all reality, both options are selfish. Risking your life to bring back all, you know, the, the self-induced dead is very inconsiderate towards your loved ones. Rika specifically calls that out. But it was a wonderful scene, and everything in between the beginning and that was also great, as it showed our heroes bonding and becoming true friends while giving telling dialogue every step of the way. The episode ends with Nairu defeating another monster, and that starts off her character arc presumably in my opinion, and that pretty much wraps up the episode there. But before I close, why does this puppet look like Clark Duke? Uh, that that bugs me out. Bugs me out. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. I got more content coming soon, so if you like any of it, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you like this video, leave a like and comment. Uh, yeah, all that. The Monster Incidents video is coming out soon, maybe two days, and yeah, that'll be it for me. It's Supreme Black Kai signing off again. It's been very, 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 very real. Pass.